Cracker Jack would run to meet me after school each day. And he'd jump and wag his tail and look at me as if to say, I love you and I missed you and I'm glad you're home again. Now I knew just how you felt cause me and Cracker Jack was friends. Cracker Jack, the best friend that I ever had was Cracker Jack, but he was more than that. Captain will be back after these messages. Let's go back to the captain's place. Dolly lady, I really am sorry about that little marching band, but in a way I'm not sorry about it, because Dolly, you gotta believe me, they are down there. Dolly, before you leave, could I take just one more look to see if I can find okay, them? Okay, Captain, one more look. Okay. I know you don't believe me, but they're there. Uh, one more. Dolly just doesn't believe me. Fellas, I know you're here. Now, come on. Little marching band, you're around here somewhere, and I want to see you. Now, Dolly doesn't believe. Come on, come on, wherever you are. <laughs> there you are. Now, look, I want you to, <laughs> to stay around here so that Dolly... Where are you going? What are you doing in there? Don't go in there. What are you doing in there? Why are you... Hey. Wait a minute. If I have them in there and I keep the lid closed, then I can get Dolly. Ha-ha! <laughs> Got you now. Dolly! Dolly! Come here, Dolly! I got something to show you. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on over here. Oh, okay. Just, just take a look at this. Now, I, I want you to look what I got in here. This is really oh, this something. Is, oh, this is just the musical instruments. Well, really, I don't need the musical instruments. I have all the musical instruments I need in the show. Just Dolly Parton, you don't know what Captain Kangaroo is saying. You're going to find more than musical oh, instruments okay. in here. Take a look. <laughs> Well, Captain, I'm afraid I don't see anything than musical instruments Where in this box. Where did they go? Oh, the book. There it is. Here it is. That's what you mean. The book? Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, fine. the book. The book. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. This is this Well, look, you that sit and read special. the book, if you will. I... Well, all right, Captain. I think he must have uh, gone somewhere. I'll look for them upstairs. Oh, read the book, Dolly. Okay, Just read okay. the book. All right. This is called The Teeny Tiny Woman. Once upon a time, there was a teeny tiny woman who lived in a teeny tiny house. And one day, this teeny tiny woman put on her teeny tiny bonnet and went out of her teeny tiny house to take a teeny tiny walk. Then when she had gone a teeny tiny way, she came to a teeny tiny gate. And the teeny tiny woman opened the teeny tiny gate and went into a teeny tiny churchyard. And in the teeny tiny churchyard, the teeny tiny woman saw a teeny tiny bone. And she said to her teeny tiny self, this teeny tiny bone will make me some teeny tiny soup for my teeny tiny supper. So the teeny tiny woman put the teeny tiny bone into her teeny tiny basket and went home to her teeny tiny house. And when the teeny tiny woman got home to her teeny tiny house, she was a teeny bit tired. She went up the teeny tiny stairs to her teeny tiny bed and put the teeny tiny bone into a teeny tiny cupboard. When the teeny tiny woman had been asleep a teeny tiny time, she was awakened by a teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard which said, Give me my bone. The teeny tiny woman was a teeny bit frightened, so she hid her teeny tiny head under the teeny tiny covers and went to sleep again. And when she had been asleep a teeny tiny time, the teeny tiny voice cried out again from the teeny tiny cupboard a teeny bit louder, give me my bone. And this made the teeny tiny woman a teeny bit more frightened, so she hid her teeny tiny head a teeny tiny bit farther under the teeny tiny covers. And then when she'd been asleep for a teeny tiny time, the teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard said again, a teeny bit louder, give me my bone. And the teeny tiny woman was a teeny bit more frightened, but she popped her teeny tiny head from the teeny tiny covers and said in her loudest teeny tiny voice, take it. Got to be around here someplace. They have got to be around here someplace. 
Hi, young fellow. Are you I'm... looking for something? Yes, I am, Mr. Banger. Well, can I be of some help? Well, yes. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you can. Yeah, well, well help? what shall I look for? Uh, well, you'll know them if you find them. Believe me, you'll know them if you find them. Oh, I guess. Kind of like a game, huh? How big are they? Uh, about this big. Oh, about that big, huh? Any yeah. other hints? And they're mostly red and they're marching. You're looking for bread and margin. No, huh? no, no, not bread and margin. No, no. Look, do me a favor, Mr. Vayner. Just look for anything unusual. And if you find anything unusual, just let me know. I'll be down in the basement. All right. That Mr. Banker, he really is something. I'm sorry, Dolly. Oh, that's all right. Did you find that little margin band you was telling me about, Captain? No, I didn't. I've looked all over. Dolly, maybe if we just were very quiet and listen. What's that sound? What is that? Well, that sounds like a like a vacuum cleaner. Who could be vacuuming in the captain's place? Excuse me, oh, Dolly. Okay. I'll be right back. What was? I figured since I didn't know what you were looking for, I'd take the vacuum cleaner and vacuum all over the place, and maybe I would pick up whatever it was that you were looking for in the vacuum cleaner. Did you see anything unusual while you were vacuuming? No, I didn't see anything unusual. Oh, thank goodness. But I did hear something kind of strange. I heard some music coming out of the vacuum bag oh. here. Is oh. it, this is not a musical vacuum cleaner, is it? No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, they're not in there, are they? Oh, oh, Dolly, Dolly! What is it, Captain? Listen, listen, do you hear them? Oh. Oh. Captain will be back after these messages. Let's go back to Captain Kangaroo. I don't hear a thing in there. I just heard it before I saw it. I don't hear a thing in there now. I'll just take it right over here. Maybe if I put it on its side, I could hear something. You know, well, I'll try that. That might be a little better. Now, the atmosphere is the same as it was before over here. Hmm. I don't hear anything. I'm going to not waste my time with that anymore. Sorry, Captain. You know, I better be going because I have a lot of things to do. I've got to finish getting all the things Everything done for, for the show. show. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, sure. you know, I really wish I could be more helpful to you, Dolly. And I'm sure Dancing Bear was here. Mm -hmm. I mean, he'd love to be in your show. And let me tell you, if I could find the little marching band, they'd love to be in your show, too. Oh, well. Yeah, they certainly would. Hi, Dancing Bear. How are you? But, you know, sometimes things don't always work out the way you'd like them to. Yeah, right. Hi, uh, Dancing Oh, excuse Bear. me. You, you haven't met Dancing Bear. <laughs> no, Dolly Parton, this is Hi. Dancing Bear. Hello. You know, maybe, Dolly, some other time I could be more helpful. Tessie Bear, you're back from your vacation. Oh. How was it? Oh, Captain, you suppose I could ask you now if he'd be in my show? Well, you go right ahead and ask okay, him. Okay, I'm doing a show, and I wanted you to be the main attraction. Would you be in my show? <laughs> Come on, I'll tell you all about it. Bring this. Is that a happy Oh, for this good, show? Dolly. Uh, Dolly, if, if, yeah. if the little marching bands should show up, do you want me to send them over? Oh, no, thank you, Captain. I've got everything I need now, but thanks anyway. Okay. Okay, okay Dolly. See you soon. You know, something tells me that, that Dolly doesn't believe that the little marching band exists. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Travel 500 years into the future for fabulous adventure aboard the Ark 2, Saturday mornings on CBS. I think it's time for breakfast at McDonald's. Now McDonald's has lots of things, like delicious McDonald's hotcakes and sausage, you know. Dad, 
He's a long jogger. He likes McDonald's breakfast, too. Don't we all? I hereby proclaim breakfast at participating McDonald's every weekend. Yay! Free television, WBNG TV, Binghamton. Magic Drawing Board is going to give us a drawing lesson. So if you want to draw something with Magic Drawing Board, you'll need something to draw with and something to draw on. Uh, something to draw with could be a crayon or a pencil. Uh, something to draw on could be a piece of paper, maybe a brown paper bag, such as I am using, all right? Uh, or a piece of chalk and a slate, whatever you have. Uh, you can get those things, but Magic Drawing Board is just going to start at the very beginning of the lesson. Go, Magic Drawing Board. What's the first thing we do? We're drawing an egg. Okay, we're drawing an egg, but it's more than an egg. I'll tell you what it's going to be in just a moment. I'm going to start to draw the egg while you get something to draw with and something to draw on and draw your egg. Okay? Absolutely back after these messages. Let's go out to the captain's place. Okay, now maybe you have something to draw with and something to draw on, and perhaps you've already drawn the egg, as I have, as Magic Drawing Board has. What next, Magic Drawing Board? Below the egg, a couple of little eggs. They look like feet to me, and I think that's just what they are. Okay? Don't rush. Take your time. Magic Drawing Board will give you time. Go ahead, Magic Drawing Board. Do the next thing. They look like hands. I think I know who this is. Do you have any idea who this is? One hand on one side, another hand on another side with three fingers on it. Um, this is a friend of ours. Hey, give me one more hint, uh, Magic Drawing Board. Here's his hair. I'm going to draw some curtains along the top of the egg. And that is exactly what our friend Fred looks like. Okay, catch up with uh, Magic Drawing Board's drawing with the feet, the arms, and the hair of our friend Fred. Magic drawing board. Let's uh, finish our drawing of our friend Fred. He has eyes, plus smaller eggs, and he has an egg for a nose lying flat, and he has a smile on his face. 
That's good. Now, your drawing doesn't have to look uh, exactly like Magic Drawing Boards does. Mine certainly doesn't. Fred looks a little different in my drawing. But it's good. It's our friend, Fred. Thank you very much, Magic Drawing Board. Captain, we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> 